So I've been trying to <laughs> trying to go at this. It's gotta be the craziest computer I've ever I've ever laid my eyes on. Um, I got I just got the door pulled off and this kind of just um, snapped on off. But that's about it. When I opened it, oh, something just went flying down there. When I opened it, this kind of came apart. So now we have a half zipped computer. You can kind of see where two halves of a laptop were taped together. <laughs> Um, I'm gonna keep on trying to get into this computer to figure out what what on earth is going on. Okay, so I got all the screws off that I could find. There weren't too many of them down there. Oh. And... There's our motherboard. Take off this keyboard. So this is a custom modded keyboard, I believe. <laughs> yeah. Um, goodness gracious. Let's see if we can get the sides off. Good riddance. But where? Whoa, okay. Looks like that's our SSD. Alright, so <laughs> I managed to get off the palm rest for the right side of the X61. Here's our motherboard. Let's see if we got a CMOS battery pressure mounted, of course. Uh, there's our speaker. Guess I just. Fits. <laughs> um, I can't figure out how to get the battery out. It's just you'd think it just slide out, but it's not. <laughs> we got another speaker. Some sort of stuff for the Wi-Fi card. X. 210 motherboard um, looks like we have an SSD by SK Hynix. I didn't know they made SSDs. Boop. Yep. Okay. Let's see. So I and try to get the motherboard out of here. Uh, hold up, let's see if this thing powers on right now. Sometimes, like, the connectors just get kind of wonky when you take everything out. Okay. So I did click on the power button, and usually this is when we get something from the CPU fan, but no. Alright, I'm going to continue the disassembly process. You need to figure out how to take the battery out. 
That's for sure. So, I managed to pry off the battery. That's what it looks like. Uh, it looks like we just got some cells in there. And, guessing that's a little controller. <laughs> it was just uh, kind of placed on and uh, connected by whatever that is. So with that, I'd have a bunch of little screws. Most of that off. There's a little daughter board coming off of the main board that has been successfully delodged. Gonna go ahead and unplug there. Okay, we're getting closer. Still a little bit tight. I'm not sure where the heck it screwed down on, as far as I can tell. It should be coming off, but no. Hmm. Alright, oh, no. I'll do some more investigation. I don't think it's this right here. For sure, this is just to keep this green. Connector put down. Let's see. motherboard I'm not sure which generation one this is we are going to go ahead and see right now if it'll power on just by itself So look, if I do a little one of these, action, let's go, cool. So it looks like um, we're getting at least power from the motherboard is being powered on. Uh, what happens if I, okay, so if I plug in the keyboard, She's happy. Okay. Let's go ahead and see if I can get any signs of life plugging it into the screen. <laughs> That's a great sign though. Thank God the motherboard turns on because I would have had no idea how to diagnose this thing. All right, let me go ahead and get the screen connectors screwed back on right here. Okay, so I pressure mounted it. Um, normally you also have this little metal protector and some screws in between. But we'll see if the pressure mount is sufficient. Fan spins. Same thing. Hello? Come on, baby. I'll give it a minute. Sometimes my X2100 takes like a minute to, to boot up. No daughter, daughter board attached. Here are the parts. No CMOS battery in as well. Sometimes that causes it to take a long time. Hello?
Looks like it's been a minute and nothing, yo. And you have sounds of life right there. That's good. I'm gonna go ahead and grab a VGA monitor and see if I can get an output onto that real quick. One sec. Okay, so I went and grabbed a VGA monitor. I'm gonna go ahead, power on. Nothing, yo. While we're going to sleep. I have had issues before where if you don't boot it with RAM, it freaks out. So I'm going to go ahead and try that real quick. Okay, the RAM module has been installed. something anything dude fuck this is such a cool computer <gasps> the fan was spinning but then it just turned off hmm how interesting oh shit <laughs> yo <laughs> I'm liking how that looks, dude. I fucking like how that looks. <gasps> Look, it's an i5 8th gen and an X60 chassis. This thing is so fucking crazy, dude. <laughs> what is happening? She's alive. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and plug in, turn you off. Thank you, sweet child. Plug in the keyboard. Okay, I'm gonna attach a keyboard, SSD. Okay, this is like a, <laughs> I got this laptop off of a, okay, this laptop is made by a well-known modder in the ThinkPad community named Lulu. And uh, for reference, like three, three months ago, I tried to commission one of these off of him because he had the parts to do it, but then he accidentally fried the motherboard and then that fell through. Um, and then like several months later, like yeah, three months later, I was at school eating lunch and perusing the ThinkPad forms when this thing happened to pop up on thinkpads.com on the marketplace. And uh, this is the first iteration of the mod that I had tried to commission off of Lulu. And um, the guy who was selling it was selling it for parts because it wouldn't turn on and it came in the state that I had showed you guys at the beginning of the video. Um, and yeah, he sold it to me for 400 bucks, uh, this entire setup. Um, for reference, I got, I commissioned him to build me one for 1700. So if I can get this thing working, dude, I would have have saved $1,300, which is actually crazy. Oh, Nice. Okay. The battery on the first iteration of this mod is, as you can tell, really questionable. But other than that, this thing looks passable. Um, we got a BIOS screen. Come on, give me BIOS or give me some. It's probably, try, probably trying to boot off of the SSD right now and getting nothing. Yeah. Okay, we'll go ahead and restart you.
Hello, sweet child. Okay, monitor should go inactive. Okay, turn you on. Let's get you into the BIOS. I believe on my X2100, the BIOS key is ESC for some reason. And that's the think vantage button. Okay, and stop spinning. Hmm. Yes. Okay. Man, that is one low quality image. Okay, it is esque on this. And then we do detect the flash drive. And luckily, I'm enough of a loser that I carry on a flash drive with Arch Linux on it. So I'm gonna go ahead and try to boot. Dude, my hands are like actually shaking. I don't know if you can tell, but like, <laughs> I'm shaking over here, dude. Okay, I'm gonna try to boot in the in the Arch and see what see what we get. Okay, Arch flash drive is in. We're in the BIOS. Oh, I'm hungry, dude. Did you hear that? That was my. Oh my goodness, that's my stomach. Okay, generic flash. I am so hungry right now. It's uh, 11.04. I've been at this for um, only like 25 minutes, yo. And it's already we made some really great progress. Rooting into Arch. Okay. I'm gonna try to um, try to see if that, I, I'm sure it works because Arch works fine on my X2100. But I'm gonna try to see if I can get it displaying. This is an upgraded IPS. LED screen. I don't know if it's the LED or LED or AFFS. Uh, my X63 it has an AFS screen, um, so I'll definitely be able to tell if this thing is running uh, the LED screen, which is like famously, uh, at least in the ZIF mod, mod, is like famously super bright. So if the, it is a ZIF one, that'd be awesome. For some reason, the the thing is only taken up. That's fucking weird. This part of the screen. We might not have Wi Fi. Yeah. The Wi Fi is a. Uh, the Wi Fi is over here. <laughs> Here's our Wi Fi. So. Hey, at least. What even is this thing, dude? What's with the tinfoil? Is it to, like, um, make it not interfere? get interfered because this is like the most sus networking card I've ever seen without a doubt in my mind this entire thing is sus <laughs> here's my screw mounts but like gosh darn um okay yeah so I'm gonna go ahead and see let's try to get on displaying on the screen go ahead and shut her down okay so I've touched the screen display cable plugged in the Power supply, I turn on on or the fan span automatically. Spamming the S key. Come on, give me something, dude. Fan stop spinning. At this point, usually in the process, we see something on the screen. It's possible that oh shit. That's the that's the fucking boot logo, dude. I still have the USB in. Okay. Wow, that is dim. All right. Okay, maybe this one isn't the ZIF. The ZIF LED screen. It's probably, it looks like AFFS just on my first impression. Give me Arch, baby. Give it to me. Okay, so, okay, I'm guessing that the way the guy got it, he got it in April and he just never touched it. Um, I guess it, the motherboard just got shorted somewhere in the case and it wasn't turning on for him because as far as I can tell, all the parts are perfectly functional. Um, 
within reason. <laughs> oh, I'm so hungry, dude. <laughs> oh my goodness. That's not me, like, having a stomach ache. That's me just trying to eat some fruits. <laughs> I'm just so excited. This is... Oh my... Okay, I'm, like, super deep into the ThinkPad uh, wormhole or rabbit hole right now. Um... I probably explained this to you at the start of the video, but yeah, this is basically a custom motherboard built for the ThinkPad X200 uh, or X201. Um, and in that one, it's like a larger computer. It's like a 16 by 10 screen. This one has a four by three screen, which is more squarey. Um, and uh, yeah, so basically the mod is <laughs> you hack, together the bottom part of that computer and uh, somehow attach it to the x60 which is this uh, this chassis and then um, you do a lot of stuff including making a battery fit somehow because it still has to use the x200 battery I guess with the pins because you can't use the, the other battery so you have to mod the battery uh, you have to mod the keyboard too because this motherboard is designed for a different keyboard. Um, I believe the screen has been modified. So there's a lot of modifications going on. This is definitely the, jank the jankiest computer I've ever used, bar none. I um, wonder if I can get the screen brighter. Oh, okay. Yeah, so that's as bright as it's going to go. I'm guessing this is a Chinese LED screen or AFS screen. Um, I don't have an Ethernet cable handy, so maybe I can try out the uh, oh my goodness, <laughs> the uh, Ethernet or the wireless card. I'm gonna go ahead and restart her and uh, plug in the wireless card. One second. Okay, wireless card is pressure mounted and I'm currently booting into Linux. Come on, let me connect to the Wi Fi. This is a 1650 by 10, 1680 by 1050 display, I think. We will find out here in a second. So, normally with laptops, I'll name them after one of the wards of Tokyo, like uh, Akihabara, Shimoki Tozawa, and stuff like that. Um, or, no, no, no. So normally with laptops, I'll name them after like a word of Tokyo, like uh, Shinjuku, Akihabara, uh, Setagaya, stuff like that. But for this one, I shall name you Kyoto because this is one special laptop. All right, Arch is um, on the way. Okay, awesome. Our Wi-Fi is there dude let's fucking go okay so i'm still in the live environment right now um i'm curious what shit did i not type this right oh you know what okay <laughs> Okay, so let's go ahead and sudo pacman dash s neo fetch. Yes, sir. Okay, and then let's fucking go. 1400 by 1050, 8 gigabytes of RAM, 8th gen processor in an x60 chassis. Um, okay, I'm gonna go ahead and install Arch on this SSD while everything is working, um, and eat lunch, so, yeah, be right back. Okay, so, I've gone ahead and reattached the motherboard to the chassis, um, with some screws. And that's about it. Uh, it's kind of loose right here. But hopefully we see some life. Fan is spinning.
Fan stopped. Give me something, dude. Yes. Okay, cool. <sighs> These are all the screws I uh, have left to work with. I wish I brought some more here. Um, Cause I was just at my, back at my grandma's with all my screws. Um, and I'm at my mom's, but this is all I got to work with right now. Okay. So we have Arch Linux. Nice. Um, network is currently not uh, hooked up, but it looks like, yes, sir. Do got some signs of life, baby. All right. So I think what I'm going to do for now is um, gradually reconnect things and power it on. And then eventually it will probably not power on and I'll figure out what's causing the short. But uh, yeah, I'm going to keep on chugging ahead. Let's go. All right. So I went ahead and remove this little metal shield thing because it was kind of like, I don't know, it seemed kind of unnecessary and it seems to be working a-okay. Network card and um, the daughter board has been placed in a spot but hasn't been connected yet and it looks like I am getting a wireless connection which is awesome. So I know I'm watching like Linus Tech Tips right now just while I'm doing this and like, I don't know. I kind of feel, as I've gotten older, yo, like... Oh, hi, man. Quick, so you mind then? Hold on, sec, guys. Okay, guys, um, I managed to get a lot of the components reassembled, <laughs> and it seems like a lot of it is actually working. Um... The palm rest is still definitely a bit jank. I need to figure out a way to reattach that. Um, I need to figure out what the heck these uh, tinfoil thing is for, for the antenna. Um, but I'm guessing, the, from what I remember before, is that it just kind of sits stuffed in this spot where the SSD is supposed to go. Um, and uh, yeah. Okay, moment of truth. Um, keyboard's in, I had to use some scotch tape to secure bezels. Taped up right here, a little bit of tape here. Let's see what's about to happen, dude. Oh, shit. Yo. Alive. Mana works. Come on, come on, can I know it was broken? Come on, I'm broken, mana work. Come on, son, or something. Come back, huh? There she is. Okay, um, battery's good, just not too much flex. Keyboard isn't actually screwed in right now. Um, I ended up with this many extra screws, <laughs> which feels like oh, that always happens whenever you disassemble a laptop. Um, here, I guess I can give you a quick tour of the system. There's my right speaker, <laughs> uh, audio jacks, yeah. USB 2. That is my uh, battery. Which is currently pressure mounted. Um, probably just duct tape it down. 
everything else. Um, this is the left part of the X200 lower chassis. Maybe some of you can tell. Oh, you can tell because typically on an X61, the charging comes out of the right slot on the right side of the computer, but here comes out on the left. Um, USB VGA. I need to cut open a hole so that the ports won't be uh, tipped over, but uh, yeah, as far as I can tell, everything is working. Um, so that's awesome.